Well, you may have already started your Fiesta medal collection for this year, but a controversial new medal has already attracted worldwide attention because of its irreverent label. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Niaves spoke to the local attorney behind the new Donald Trump commemorative medal. It's something that we thought was just, you know, in, in jest. It was, it was fun. It's a spin-off Loteria or Mexican bingo. My friend Philip Anaya and I uh, decided that this would be a great way to kind of get into the mix of the political quagmire that we all find ourselves in every day. The rainbow ribbon is in support of the LGBTQ community. Number 45 is in the corner for our 45th president. Then, a Spanish curse word at the bottom. Given our common sentiments, uh, we labeled it el highly offensive to President Trump. So much so, Trump supporters are threatening Gonzalez. There's been some talk on the alternate uh, right blogs about blowing up this office and death threats possibly. George Rodriguez, a conservative commentator and Trump supporter, believes the vulgarity of the medal crosses the line. If someone who was conservative and Republican, uh, a Trump supporter came out with a uh, nasty medal like that against Hillary, or Senator Elizabeth Warren, or any anybody, I'm sure that there would be an immediate outcry. He says politics should stay out of Fiesta. A medal like this, in my opinion, dampens Fiesta Week. It really does. I mean, it, it puts a nasty political spin on it. But the medal is popular. Gonzalez ordered 500 medals in the first batch and spent just over $800. She's selling them out of her office on a first-come, first-served basis for $10 a piece. And then the demand got suddenly feverishly high for this medal within 24 hours. They sold out immediately. I've had requests from independents, from Republicans. We have gotten calls from Germany, California, Washington State, Washington, D.C., all over the state of Texas, Chicago. And we had a man from El Salvador. A second batch is coming in. 1,000 more medals, and that's it. The waiting list keeps growing. All of these were this morning. Gonzalez says she's sending one medal as a gift to the commander in chief. I'm not afraid. You know, I'm a, I'm a red blooded American citizen with the rights that everyone else has under the First Amendment. And I'm going to exercise that right. Alicia Neyavis, Ken's Five Eyewitness News. I guess we'll be seeing a lot of it. <laughs>